today I am going to teach you on why pro licensing actions contain negative vibes in good societies. There is jerk tonium in pro licensing actions. And if you do not know what jerk tonium is, jerk tonium is an element that turns people into jerks. JT is the symbol for jerk tonium. There are too many licenses of every type. Vehicle operating licenses, parking licenses, pet licenses, business licenses, gambling licenses, profession licenses, work licenses, marriage licenses, venue licenses, broadcasting licenses, billing licenses, weapon licenses, hunting slash fishing licenses, alcoholic beverage licenses, food safety licenses, probationary licenses, traveling licenses, scuba licenses, intellectual property licenses, etc. And I am tired of the ridiculous licensing. I am glad that milkshake operating licenses do not exist in reality. Thank you very much, SpongeBob SquarePants. The reasons why government enforces those pro-licensing laws of every type are that the government wants to get rich quickly by charging people for licensing fees as a scam to continue to enforce dictatorship and that the government wants to give negative fear to the licensees by respecting the terms of licensing or end user license agreement, EULA, to avoid being canceled. And the more the terms, the more the chances of victory for the licensor. Government wants people to be between a rock and a hard place so government can win 100% of the time. One of the between a rock and a hard place scams from government is either that you lose money for operating slash practicing a specific action without a license or that you lose money for a specific license or that you lose money slash life for not obeying the terms of licensing and government wants to be on top of the social pyramid thanks to serious ridiculous enforcements government has the love of money and first timothy chapter 6 verse 10 says the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil because lovers of money have strayed from the faith in their greediness and because lovers of money have pierced themselves with many sorrows did you know that it is a waste of time and of money to get a specific license did you know that licensing is a form of registration and did you know that registration is a form of spying to check on your progress because government or a human superior has your information I compare licensing, registration, and terms of licensing to the mark of the beast according to Revelation chapter 13. I never want to be registered to any human superior or to an anti-Christ. Licensing is not the same as 
trustworthiness. Being licensed does not mean that you do whatever you can do according to your power. When you are licensed, there are terms of licensing or end user license agreement, EULA, that you have to obey to avoid being canceled. And the more the terms, the more the chances of victory for the licensor. Whatever that is prohibited according to the terms of licensing is pro-cancel culture. Whether a person has a license or not, a person will be a miserable slave. A person can get in trouble to do a specific activity without a license or a licensed person can get in trouble by violating the terms of licensing. And that is another between a rock and a hard place scam from government. I would not be proud to be licensed with a good community slash business because I would be hailed against my will. Thanks to Prince, the musical artist, I would write the word slave on my forehead because of certain laws that I do not like, including pro-licensing laws of every type. Good communities slash businesses have the same negative vibes like gang slash mobster groups because they both give negative consequences of subtracting people and that makes good communities slash businesses and gang slash mobster groups are equally guilty for subtracting people. And you know why I have a distrust with people and with human authorities because we live in an age of deception. And I would press charges against pro license people. Romans chapter 3 verse 10 says, There is not a single righteous person. And Romans chapter 3 verse 23 says, Every human came short to God's glory by sinning. The scene of Willy Wonka's office from the Gene Wilder version of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is an example of legal scams. Grandpa Joe wanted to know when Charlie is going to be rewarded positively, but Willy Wonka gave hopelessness by using legal actions because Charlie Bucket broke the terms of visiting according to Willie's legal scams. And Grandpa Joe was angry about this. And Willie was full of pride about his legal decision to be final. Part 2 will continue next time.